All right, viewers, today we are here to show you or to intimate you on the three common mistakes you need to watch out for or that can occur in a street fight. Stay tuned and enjoy this. Okay. The basic thing in a street fight, which I have been saying in the course of our self-defense program, is that one, for you to be self-defense conscious or for you to be prepared to or to, uh, to, 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 to confront anybody who is coming to attack you, be it one person or more than one person, first of all, you need to take out fear. You have to walk along or walk around with confidence that you can face anything that happens to come your way, no matter how, no matter what. Okay, fear is that is the basic thing first you need to pick up. All right. For instance, I am just walking, and the two of you, maybe one person or two or more, apprehends me. And the moment I look at you and get scared, do you know what that will happen to me? One. It will wash down my techniques. My confidence will go. And my techniques, I will see them as their own feet. And once that is done, already I am off. I can't do anything. So the moment I see you people, I should... Just like when I was talking about when you see somebody with a weapon, you should not look at the weapon. See the weapon as a muscle. Because the moment you get scared of that weapon, you are lost. You will not be able to know. Already, what you're supposed to do is there, you know. But the fear will send it away from you. Is, is, it, that, is, is, is it that you have to, like, Kind of belittle the people who come to attack you, or like you underestimate them. Is that what you're trying to say? Or? Okay, you don't underestimate them, but what you do is you build up your confidence for them. At the same time, you expect because you don't know them, even if you, you don't play when it comes to street fight, self defense, you don't play. Now what I should do to this man at that first instance, I should make sure that what I do to him will keep him down there for the next five minutes, if not more. So you don't play. The techniques you apply in self-defense is raw. Very raw techniques and devastating techniques. Okay? So since we've exhausted the aspect of fear, now another point we want to want to bring to your notice is anger also is not a good um, factor to give you a good uh, productivity when it comes to action fight. Alright? Now to further explain it, if I get angry at you people now. It will do something similar to what fear does. But it will make me not coordinated. This one is, why is a bit different from fear is that fear will shrink you off totally. But anger will still put you on, but make you uncoordinated. And martial arts or fight as it should be, is like uh, what we will say, um, physics, let me put it that way, like physics. So it has to do with programming, formulas and all that. Now, that anger will kill the formula. You'll be uncalculative. You, you'll be uncalculative. So at that point, instead of you think, knowing that you should have moved to here and take your time, you would want, because of the anger, to rush into them. 
At that point, you might be handicapped. And you might be over exhausted as well. Yes. So Okay, it's exhaust fast yeah, yeah. because you are overreacting. Yes, yeah. you you overreact. Professionally, what happens is when you see this effect, you might even just put up a smile. You calm your nerves and then you step. They might not really understand why you're stepping. And your stepping is not centralized. Centralized. Stepping. You're stepping to it's planted to one side. Mm. So to them, they might think, ah, maybe you are scared of them, you are moving away, but you know exactly what you are doing. So now, from your stepping here, now, you are calm. At times, the person you are even stepping to might not take the first move. The okay. other person might want to come further. Now, when it comes further, what do you do? You don't remain there. You also advance. Leave this one and leave this one here. So that is the aspect of anger. Anger, in summary, will make you uncoordinated. So are you okay with that? Yes. But what about the anxiety to attack first? Okay. You should not also attack first. It is not right. Now, you are supposed to be a gentleman. If you are, if you are a poor martial artist, you are supposed to be a gentleman. So now, what, what, what makes you a gentleman when somebody is only coming to confront you or to raise eyebrows at, at you and then you strike you? You're no longer a gentleman. So you have to keep your calm, but be on the safe side. That safety is you should take a side, that right there or there, and the last. No wonder martial artists pray a lot. Are religious, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. But Do we have any well, I have a question. In a, a life situation where you are attacked in the night, maybe some bad boys, two or three of them, or a group of them coming at night to maybe get your phone or something, get something from you. And then everywhere is dark. The martial artist, you're not sure what kind of weapons they wield. So in that case, what do you it's do? It's simple. The answer is very simple. You find a way out. Um, you are your shock to get the answer. No, I'm not. Cause I've watched with Jed Lee run many times. <laughs> <laughs> now, the eyes, no matter how tough and strong you are, your eyes is what enhances who you are. Now, let's assume your eyes are not there. Will you be able to fight? No. Your skills and your techniques and everything are there. Will you be able to do anything? So, it is likened to when you attack. Because you are not seeing anything. So for you to be on the safe side, they always say he that fight and run away. Live to fight another day. day. So now what makes you to run away is not that because you are a coward or you were not able to defeat or to face the, the confrontation or the challenge. It's because of the situation at that point. Darkness everywhere. Yes. So it threw you off balance. So for you not to want to prove I I'm strong, I'm strong, and you are you are ready you, you are already deficient okay. because there's no light no for light. you to see. So and move. So since it was in a situation where you are already surrounded, they just came out and you're surrounded and there's actually no route to escape. Uh, do you retreat, just surrender to Okay. Now if at that situation, at that point, it's dark, you cannot really see and you're already surrounded. Surrender. Now you're surrendering. It's not foolishness. It's wisdom. So leave to fight an enemy. Yes. Because when you surrender, they will also find a way to be relaxed. They will not find you a threat anymore. 
but they will think, ah, they got to eat. But in your mind, you are looking for an escape route. So at that point, they will see you are, you are weak now, they will weaken you. And now, by chance, you play along with them, play along with them, you might find your way. Okay. I'm sorry to bother you, but this one last question. You, in, in a daytime, you know exactly what to do, you're a good martial arts, but you're working with a lady, and this lady is captured. And maybe with a knife point, that if you make any move, will hurt her. Okay. That's what do you do? That's another, another point. Now, let me, let me uh, answer that point with an illustration. Because that, These uh, people that, know who you are, they know what you are capable of, but right now they have captured a lady with you and if you make any move hurting any of us, we will hurt her too. Because that question really happened to me. But this time it wasn't even a lady, it was a guy. Where it was along the road in Avenue that we were coming. From there, there were about six of them that came out and four rounded me up and two rounded this guy. Now, to me, to me, I was sure I wasn't thinking of myself anymore, I was thinking of him. Though I had four in my very in my before, but he had two. But this four was not anything to me. But the two that was surrounding him, I was con uh, concerned yeah. about how, because I can make my way from here, but how about him? So that made me to play down. Now when I played down, they started conversation that I should get them, buy this for that. I told them, though I was with money, they told them, I don't have money here. So if you want me to buy something for you, there's a shop there, let's get to that shop. And why I was saying to was because they were positioned around me. So I wanted a way to destabilize them by making them move. Mm -hmm. And I moved, I moved steps ahead of them. So when I said so, the other one said, I know I should give him the money that I said, I told you, I just told you I don't have money here. I know the people there in the shop, they can give me something for you. Now come and do that. So when the other one said, okay, so by the time I moved, it was as if they were also smart. They saw this, the pace I took, and the other one quickly Connect. cornered me, stood in my front, said, I know I'm not going to anywhere. And I turned and looked at the other guy. The two of them were me. said, okay. Now what I will do is, I'll take a drastic move. Because, however, I just take a decision there that I'll just take a drastic move. And they also helped me to take the drastic move because the guy that came before me he immediately helped me by the neck. And once he helped me there, I released the bomb. Boom! He went down. Bam! The moment he went down, the rest were disorganized. Okay. The moment they disorganized, I, it's, like, it's like the two also left the that two guy. Also left the guy yes. and they ran to me yeah. and they were confused because they didn't actually know what happened. They just saw the guy fell, shouted and was vomiting. So they came and stood. Eh, that have killed their, their, their brother, have killed their brother. They could not come close to me again. So that was when people now came and yeah. So they asked what happened, I told them, ah, this is why I don't even know them. This is why. And they said, ah, look at that, I've killed you. I said, did I know you people? Why did you people come to uh, surround me? So those guys now said I should just leave. Yeah. So that question applies there. When you see that it is, it is so bad, you just take Move. That move could get them confused, and they want the their attention will turn the attention to you. And the moment the attention there turns to you, another guy is killed for you. Run away. All right. So I think with that you're satisfied. Okay. So.
please viewers do not forget for time our first timers to subscribe and hit the bell and also we're waiting to get your uh, uh, comments please uh, thank you to